Imagine if you had a website that made over $1 million per month, every single month. That's what we're going to go over in this video. Let's go over seven different websites that reportedly make over $1 million per month. And I think it's even more. I think it's even more when you dive into it. So the cool part is this niche is wide open. Anyone can do this. I'm going to teach you how to do it yourself. All we need is a little piece of the pie. If they're making $1 million per month on their website, all we need is a tiny fraction to make significant money. So someone sent me this thread yesterday, right? This is on X. This is very, very recent. It's going to blow your mind, right? So Ian said, food blogs can attract a ludicrous amount of traffic and generate tons of money. Let me show you. So the cool part is, right, we're going to go over seven different websites right now and how to do it yourself, right? All we need, remember, is a tiny piece of the pie. So here's 218, the top earning food blogs in the world. He grabbed them all. We have a list of them all now. We can do a lot of things with this. This is amazing. So number one, check this out, right? Allrecipes.com has over 400 million monthly visitors and they make over $27 million per year. Did you know people are making this type of money by just posting recipes? Now here's the homepage of the website. And I want to be very clear. They say about two point something million per month is made off of this website's all recipes, right? What does it actually look like? What does a recipe look like that can make this sort of income? So grandma's favorite comfort food recipes, right? Okay, grandma loves you. It's true, right? And we've all seen this stuff. Homemade chicken noodle soup. You can view the recipe. Beef pot roast. You can view the recipe. This type of thing is making tons of money. Now, what if I were to tell you right? It used to take a lot of time to do these type of websites. It used to take a lot of time to create an all recipes type of website, but now, now it's easier than ever before. Now we're going to jump back to the other websites making over $1 million per month. And I think it's way more. Check this out before I, you know, go on a tangent. I want to do this before I forget. So this is called Ahrefs. This is an SEO tool. Basically we can see how many people how many people from Google alone go to allrecipes.com? This is important because if you look over here, right, I'm going to zoom in. Do you see here organic search? Their traffic is way more than what is reported on Twitter. They are valuing just Google traffic alone per month at $7 million. So the reality is just from Google, this website could be making $7 million per month. Why does that matter? Because yet again, all we need is a little slice of the pie. Now coming back here, the next website up is called Love and Lemons. So this gets over 100 million monthly visitors estimated to be between 10 and $20 million per year. Do you see the range here? 10 to 20 million. No one really knows how much these websites are making. And I think personally, just my guess, it's way more because you can monetize in a lot of different ways when you have this type of traffic. So number two is loveandlemons.com. Dot com. Now you're going to notice a lot on this page. I'm going to go over a lot really, really quick. And it has to do with how they're making money, how you can make money doing this too. And a lot of this is frustrating to me, maybe to you as well. I had to, if I click this button, you'll see a little bit. Do you see below me? It says number of items blocked on this page, 604 in rise. And basically that's an ad blocker. I couldn't even be on this website without having an ad blocker because it lagged out my whole computer. This is how they make money. You come onto the website and you're bombarded with all of these ads in your face. But that's that's kind of a tangent. All right. Love and Lemons makes a lot of money. How? Because they have simple recipes. So this is air fryer sweet potato. Okay. Let's just talk about how they do it. Number one, a nice image in your face, right? It's a tall image, a tall image. Don't forget that. A tall image means this. It's like this ways, right? Instead of this ways, a tall image, right? Tall image. Anyways, moving on. When I hover over this image, it says pin it. So we know that they're using Pinterest. They, we know they're probably making tons of money there too. And we talk about that a lot on our channel. So even using my ad blocker, we have ads everywhere. But I want you to pay attention to this because this is what matters. All this website is, all most of these websites are, is an image of food plus text. And then you scroll down more, it's more text. And then it's an image of food. It's text and images of food. It's not that complicated. Now check this out and I want you to pay close attention. A friend of mine made this for this video, right? He's like, this is perfect, man. You have to show everyone this. You have to show people this. So here we are. All right. Simple ground beef casserole, right? All right. Let's go over it. Beautiful image, text, 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 nice image, preparations, pro tips, tools required, substitutions, you know, okay. We have the images that kind of walk you along the recipe. Now, 
What if I were to tell you all of these, all of the words, all of the images, all of this, 100% is AI. It's all artificial intelligence, and guess what? It cost less than like five cents to create something like this. This is why it's so interesting now, because if there's these big websites making millions of dollars, right, millions and millions of dollars, why not provide users with really tasty recipes with AI images and AI text and scale this thing, scale your website, make money like never before. Now, I want to share something that I shared in the Maverick Forum. So there's a forum of us who do these type of tactics to make money online. I'll talk about that later, but check this out. A lot of people are like, all right, so if you're going to do AI recipes, are they even good? Are people going to like them? And I have a non-trivial amount of people check out my recipes, and these are all AI, right? So chicken fried Cornish game hands recipe, a person saying I made this with spaghetti, dinner rolls, and cucumber salad, so delicious. Uh, beef fried rice, I mean, that's a big one. This was wonderful and forgiven of what you may have in your pantry, blah, 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 blah. Good, uh, came out great on the honey balsamic pork tenderloin, honey barbecue chicken. I think that was like an ad. This recipe works great with this type of sauce. I think that's a bit different. Um, cranberry uh, biscotti, we did have issues with this one. This one, people were saying, some people were saying it was a little too dry, but I think that can happen in a recipe. Something like a biscotti is kind of, you know, difficult to cook anyways. Easy chili recipe. Someone said, tried this chili recipe. It was super easy to make and the final product was very tasty and so on and so forth, right? The point is I have experience with this and people are saying they like these recipes. Now, this next part is important to pay attention to because we're talking about monetization. You need to understand exactly how these websites are making money because then you can figure out how to do it for yourself, right? So let's talk about this. If you're making a million dollars, I mean, a million dollars, that is quite a lot of money per month on a website. They are probably doing this. They're using Google for sure, right? So Google, someone types in a recipe. I want a recipe and they show up. Someone clicks on Google. Google, great. Google is difficult nowadays difficult. I would say it's difficult. They're using Facebook likely. This is medium. And they're also using Pinterest. I would, so, I would call this easy mode. This is what we focus on. And why we focus on Pinterest nowadays, it's easy mode because Pinterest likes new accounts coming along. Like if you were to create a new account, you could be up and running in no time. That's why I consider Pinterest easy mode. Now we're going to have some fun here in a second. I'm going to show you how to do this, how we are scaling out our website super quick and we're doing it more affordable than ever before. That's the key, right? If you can do it cheaper, you can do it easier, you can do it faster, you can win. Okay. But these are the platforms that they are working on. And I could say they're also doing Instagram and TikTok and YouTube, but the top three, these top three up here, right? These are the primary platforms they focus on because that's where the money is in this type of niche. Now, let's talk about monetization methods. Display ads would be probably number one. You could do affiliate links, right? Affiliate links is if someone clicks through to Amazon on your website and they make a purchase, well, you get a commission, right? You can have, uh, let's scroll down a bit. We can do digital downloads. What else could we do? There's an assortment of things, but these two, the top two, is for the most part how most websites make money. Now we're gonna have some fun. I really enjoy the creation process, like creating these recipes. It's very, very fun. We're gonna use a tool, Content Goblin. Now realize we've talked about these tactics before on this channel. I mean, I talk about them a lot. I go down the rabbit hole to help you understand, okay, this is the process to create, to monetize, to do all these things. But let's just create one right now. So single recipe, so they actually have a module called single recipe. We can just come down here. Let's just do a ground beef casserole and click this button. Do you see this right here? Generate. And just like that, we have our ground beef recipe, right? A nice image. And mind you, there's three different options for images on this tool. And this was like the cheapest version. And to me, that's great. That looks excellent. We can make it even better, but it costs more tokens. We have the ingredients. We have the instructions. We have the cook and prep times. And guess what? If you chose to do it this way, you don't have all the fluff in the beginning of the article. Because if you noticed on a lot of recipe websites, there's like a section of fluff in the beginning telling you about the history of the recipe, how this, that, and another and it's all to make more money. I get it. It's for display ads. So you have to scroll through ads. So if you wanted a pared down version, a pared down version of a recipe, boom, this is, this is the core of a recipe right here. Now we're going to go even more technical. This is how we do the videos. We start high and get very defined, right? How can you make money doing this? Remember, we just need a piece of the pie. We don't need the whole pie. All recipes, this tool is called pin clicks. All pin clicks does amongst other things, but the purpose of pin clicks is to give us data for Pinterest accounts, right? 
all recipes. The first one we looked at, one of the biggest recipes, if not the biggest recipe blog in the world uses Pinterest. And remember, I said right here, remember this? Pinterest is easy mode. Why? Because you can start right now on Pinterest and dominate. You can you can take a piece of the pie, right? So check it out. I would use pin clicks and type in my competitor, all recipes, and I would scroll down, right? I would scroll down and I'm looking for this. To the right is volume. Volume means how many people are looking at this darn thing per month. You'll see what I'm saying in a second. Do you see here bacon recipes? They rank number one. So number one and over seven, is that 700 or is that 70? That's 700,000 people per month month search bacon recipes and they are ranking number one for that keyword you better believe they're making a lot of money there a lot of money but let's keep going if you see right below it right lemon curd that is a type of recipe and they have over a hundred thousand people typing that into pinterest every month that's like three thousand people per day are typing in a recipe for lemon curd people want to know all right how do i make a lemon curd so all i would do i would identify my competitors number one and we'll have a list in the description right that twitter list the guy put it together really really cool 200 plus recipe blogs you can just use this tactic here i would take it i would say i want a lemon curd recipe cool i would come over to content goblin i would put lemon curd right here let's do the best image quality and let's do recipe article so this one has a little bit more fluff we want the tall image image in the beginning and hit generate. And just like that, we have it on our blog. It doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. Now I'm going to say that a lot of people are not happy with what's happening with recipe blogs nowadays. And it's the people who are not happy are the ones who used to have the whole piece of the pie. They don't like AI people like me coming in and taking a piece of their pie. I'm sorry, but that's what competition is, right? So what I do is simply put exactly what you saw in this video. I figure out who are my competitors? I'm figuring out what are they ranking for? And then I'm going to do it better. I'm going to create something that I think is better and I'm going to compete. I'm going to compete on Pinterest. And guess what? I slowly grab some of their traffic and then I begin making money. Remember, I promised seven different websites. Well, here you go. They all make tons of money. No one knows exactly how much money, right? How much money do these websites make? That's an internal thing, but we can make assumptions based upon their traffic numbers. And it's a lot. All these websites, here's number nine, make a lot of money, a lot of money. And remember, all we have to do is take a little piece of the pie.